Gym cat. Well, I started when I was about two and a half, technically. I put her in my Mimi classes. She was about two and a half, three years old. So she's ten now, so about eight years, a little over eight years now. My name is Sarah, and Kaylin's mom. <laughs> she's stayed quite light. She, I don't think she's actually gained probably maybe a pound, maybe two pounds over the last couple years. She's right at that little kind of sixty. For Mark, uh, on a heavy day, she's probably 65 pounds, sopping wet. She's my 4th of July baby. She was actually born three and a half weeks early. She didn't want to stay there very long, so she's, I knew she was going to be something special when she came out on the 4th of July. She was just meant to be. I like gymnastics because it's a really fun sport, and just the friends that I have here and like all the equipment just feels like natural to me. I love Kaylin. Uh, she's one of my best friends at Gym Cats. She's always cheering me on. She's always like, you know, it doesn't matter what. She's always cheering me. Well, she's a little girl who was started in our program. We noticed her at three years old. She had extraordinary talent. So we started putting her into one of our talented programs and she just excelled, kept improving and uh, made it to what USA Gymnastics calls the TOPS program, which is a talent opportunity program. And uh, she was noticed there and as a nine-year-old was number one in the nation. She's now 10. She's got a whole package in that she's very coordinated. She's strong, she's flexible, she's powerful. And she has all the assets of the personality which have to do with hard work and dedication and focus. Bars and beam both the strongest events, which is actually kind of funny because those are usually the, typically the hardest events in gymnastics. She probably likes bars and beam the best. Uh, bars, she's a natural at her handstand. She has an amazing line, which is a very difficult skill to have, especially at 10. And beam, she's just really good at that. She's, she's able to feel the beam, square herself up, and she, she really excels at that event. She's actually really good at all four events. I would say uh, bars is going to be an event that she really shines at uh, eventually as her skill level gets higher. Um, beam she's a natural at as well, but she's also good on floor and can dance and, and she's really powerful for her age for vaults. It's not her favorite event right now, but I think as she gets older, she's really going to like the vault too. Oh gosh, vault. <laughs> There's all different uh, qualities in gymnastics that you can be a little weak in. Every single athlete has their weakness. She's pretty strong overall, but the core is working to get stronger. It's mostly because she's just 10, but strengthening her core of her body definitely is something we're working on to improve her, her bars and her vaulting. Best traits for Kaylin probably is her conscientiousness. It, it is very typical to give an assignment and the kids don't follow it exactly. And what Kaylin does really well is she precisely finds out what the assignment is and makes sure she follows it to a T. She's good at that. She's fun loving and easy going. Um, she's got a great personality. She doesn't take the hard work that we have to do as a punishment, which is easy to do when it's a real big struggle and really tiring. Um, she's really good with that. She takes it as a, this is gonna make me better instead of uh, poor me, I have to do all this hard work, so that's good. She's a laid back kid, she has her moments. She's, um, even when she was little though, she used to get frustrated really easy. Sometimes the attitude, like as Cassie talked about, she kinda has to work on that sometimes. And I have to remind her who she's talking to, I'm still her mom. Uh, well, sometimes my attitude can get like really 
bad and sometimes it can be really good, but they say that I'm mostly working hard every day. I like training, but sometimes it can be really difficult because the stuff that we sometimes do is really hard. I just tell myself to do what I normally do in training, just focus. Yeah, she's a great teammate. She's really positive with the other kids. You know, she does stand out and is a little bit of a star. And a lot of times we'll have kids who are really jealous of that, but they don't seem to be. They they really, uh, they have a mutual respect and, and they admire some of what she's going through and how hard she's working. Her ultimate goal is to make the 2024 Olympics. And um, if that's what her hopes and dreams are, then that becomes what my hopes and dreams are. And I will do anything I can to support her to make that happen. For our elite testing that she's trying to qualify into, they have to hold a minute handstand hold. Well, she's invited to USA Gymnastics uh, Elite Development Program, which is at Caroli's Ranch. She's been going every couple of months, and they test them on all different physical abilities, including strength and flexibility. And then there's a compulsory program, which kind of shows their basic skills that are gonna lead to the higher optional skills. So she tests on all of that, and then plus they just see their, her overall progress. I mean, she has that, the qualities to go all the way. We don't ever like to say we're working just for the Olympic Games because the number of kids who go there every four years is so small. But she's got all the qualities that you need to go up to that level. Um, so we just try to see as, as high as she can go. Um, I have no doubt she'll get a college scholarship, but um, she also wants to pursue elite gymnastics and see where she can compete. Well, there's a million different coaching cues, you know, as far as form and extension and power and blocking through your shoulders, all those kinds of things. But really, uh, the mental state of mind, keeping focused on what they're doing at the time being, trying to think in the ways uh, of the three Ps, you know, positive thinking, keep pushing through, because it's easy for kids to get down when you can't do something and you've repeated it a million times. It's easy for you to get down on yourself, but we try to keep them in that mindset. Hey, growth mindset, you learned a little bit today, the next day it may come. You don't know when it's coming and gonna click for you, so just keep persevering. And I think sometimes um, just that the girls and the coaches don't realize how young she is. And we are talking about, um, how she worries about her outfits or her hair or her, you know, giggling. And it's just, you just sometimes forget how young she really is because she performs like she's a lot older. So for our competitions, our uh, coaching staff, uh, the one who's in charge of leotards picks ours. So when they're competing for us, that's how they compete. Uh, they have to wear those outfits. We coach a lot of kids, not just Tasha going to the Olympic Games but, and the kids who get college scholarships, but we coach a lot of kids just for success in life. And being someone who can get out there, work hard, perform in front of a crowd, the confidence it brings them, you know, the different things that they learn through this sport is a lot more than just the medals they win or, or whether they make it to the Olympic Games. So it does have to be the exact right kid and the exact right situation in order to go down that path because there are so many sacrifices, not just for the kid, but for the coach, the gym, the parent financially. There's just a million sacrifices. So you do have to make sure it is gonna be good for that kid. And that's why we allowed Kaylin to go down this pathway because we see the assets there and that she has and she, we think that she's somebody who could handle it. Straight face, Kaylin. <laughs> straight, <laughs> <No. face. laughs> yeah, straight face. Straight yeah. face. Careful. <laughs> okay. All right. Straight face. Uh, do you think your daughter takes this sport seriously? <laughs> Absolutely, she does. I would say it's school, kiddo. You hate school. <laughs> you hate school.
She's a straight-A student, but she hates school. Yeah.